Hello, hello, hello. Hey, family. My God, my God, it's amazing. I'm just uh, saying uh, hello from Israel. And I just want to tell you that I am in expectation of the Father answering prayer requests, been at the Wailing Wall every day, you know, praying for people. And, and I just thank God for what he is done doing over here. And I know, and I wrote your prayer requests down, and I put them in the wall, and I prayed at the wall and labored at the wall along with the women of valor we have uh people have sent prayer requests from from different all over the world from prayer requests but the prayer requests that i received i personally wrote them down put them in the wall prayed to the father because i expect i expect god to move on the prayer request because I know that God is faithful. God is very faithful. He's not a man that should lie. And I just want to encourage you today, keep trusting the Father. I believe in prayer. I believe that that cancer can dry up. I believe, hello somebody, that God can work the miraculous out. I believe without a shadow of a doubt that God moves in miracles and the miraculous and it has been amazing and today we went um to see uh the place where jesus was was born the actual place uh, of jesus birth you know when they put him in the manger out there and so i'm just um overwhelmed with joy it has been life-changing um to to get to this place but most of all um to be able to to pray uh, over here in israel to pray to pray for the for the people um it's been amazing and i and i just believe god that prayers are answered i believe god for miracles i believe god for the miraculous i just believe god for you I'm standing in agreement with you, and I'm walking with you, and I'm praising God uh, because I know that those prayers are answered. And so I just said, let me go on. Let me encourage the people. We've been praying every day. We have been going to the wall every single day. To, to uh pray to pray how you doing alonzo hey lady gail um uh, praying 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 and we believe the father oh without a shadow of a doubt i believe the father for your miracle let me tell you something um this has been oh my god i, I can't even explain this experience with the father but i tell you it has been um amazing um, all I can say is that the Father loves you, and his love for you is so strong. I'm telling you, just being here, just um, taking the journey uh, with, with our Savior and all the way, um, we'll be going to the tomb tomorrow for the cruci you know, all the way up to, to the crucifixion. And, and just, you know, seeing so many people from different nationalities um, praying and, you know, and um, it's, it, it has been amazing, you guys. It has been amazing. And I tell you, my physical body is tired, but my spirit, man, is good because the Father is doing um, some amazing things, and I, I believe God for your miracle with everything in me. I believe God for, you know, those, those prayers being answered. 
I mean, it's so many prayers that have come in to me. Over 200 prayers have come in to me that I have taken to the wall, wrote your name down, wrote your prayer request down, put it in the wall, prayed at the wall. And the other women of Valley, it was prayer requests that came to them. And listen, you guys, we, we've been praying. For me, this is not a vacation. This is a renewed covenant with me and the Father. You know, because there are so many things that God is speaking to me and giving me revelation and imparting in my spirit for my God-given purpose. And I know the one thing that I'm going to continuously stay on the wall may not be the wailing wall that's here, but I'm going to continue to stay on the wall of prayer because so many people are, are going through so many challenges in their life, and I don't want you to give up. I don't want you to throw in the towel. I want you to keep trusting the Father because, listen, I'm telling you, I am pressing. We are pressing to get to that wall to pray. This is serious. This is not, you know, a vacation. No, this, this, is, this, this, this is not a vacation. This, this is not a vacation. This is serious spiritual uh, uh, enrichment, empowerment, uh, hearing from the Father. Hey, sis, how you doing? I love you, Yogi, Victoria, uh, Kathy, Lisa, Elder Joe, Claudia. How y'all doing, Alonzo? Blessings, blessings, blessings. And um, hey, Mr. Terrell, how you doing? Brunel, how are you? How are you? Divine uh, Chinadu, blessings, blessings. It, it's amazing. Uh, Trevion, hey, honey, how are you? It's, it's the, the joy, the presence of God, the, the revelation. Uh, um, oh, yes, honey. Oh, you, you're more than welcome. I, I, we, I've been getting to the wall. And I'm telling you, it's a journey. You have to walk and you know they don't they don't have no the elevators like we have the luxuries in the state i mean i now i understand what jesus went through when he uh walked around from 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 town to town healing the sick and and raising the dead <laughs> i love you too uh sis i i love your yoga yes i love your family and i said before i lay down you know we just came from the welling um, wall praying, you know, just being there in the presence of God. And I'm telling you, you weep at the wall. I mean, you weep and got a chance to get baptized in the Jordan River where Jesus was baptized. And let me tell y'all something. I went down, but I didn't come up the same person. Um, this experience with the Father, I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. It will never be the same. You can't, you can't take this spiritual journey here and experience. And, and when you get the knowledge of, of the things that Jesus went through, you know, oh, my God, no escalators. Lord have mercy. Yes, 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 yes. And, and I tell you, but let me tell you something. Because I know what the Father is speaking to me. Even without the elevators, I'm still walking, you guys. I'm still walking. I'm still pressing because I tell people all the time, you know, your God-given purpose is not about you. This, this here, you know, you see the pictures and things, but I'm telling you, this encounter, hey, daughter, Shante, that I'm having with the Father, I'm telling you his presence, the manifestation of his glory, you know, just being to, able to, to, to be strengthened by the Father, you know, it's like, God, oh, my God, when I come back to 
to the states. It's like, God, I'm ready. Hey, big brother, Pastor Ross, I love you and my sis, Lady Kayla, love y'all to life. Yes. Hey, Victoria. And so this journey, it has been amazing. But let me tell y'all something. When I was on that water, went down in that water. I'm telling you, when I went down in that water, y'all, and I came back up, I came back up renewed. I've been baptized before, but this here baptism, to be able to be baptized with the Father, you know, with Jesus, you know, our daddy Jesus, oh my God. Hey, Regina, was baptized here. It's like my life. Let me tell y'all something. Before I left, let me tell you how I know that God is working the miraculous. Before I left Houston, it was like a knot came on my eye. Okay? Seriously. And my sister, she prayed. And I said, you know what? I said, I'm going, sis. I said, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Because this journey is not about me. It's about what God wants to do through me to be a blessing to somebody else's life. Because when you have purpose, you can't just sit back and do absolutely nothing, you know. And so I'm telling you, it's a journey. We walking, we, you know, I, I, it's some serious walking. Is is hot. I'm not complaining about anything. You know, you have to drink plenty of water. Oh, yeah, tell your husband his life will never be the same when he when he hit this ground of Israel. I'm telling you, and go to the different places and you know and and then and, and and my eye and then my in my physical body, you know wasn't all the way up to part the way it need to be, but let me tell y'all something I received the healing over here. I received the healing because I kept saying, Father. This ain't about me. It's what I want you to do through me to be an impact to somebody else's life because people have purposes. And if we don't walk in our purpose, how are we going to pull the people that God has assigned to our life in purpose? You know, and everything that was fleshly, hello, Whatever the residue that was on my life, I'm telling you, when I went down in that water, I came up a new creation in God. It's like a renewed covenant. And I'm telling you, I am so on fire for God. I was already on fire. But I'm telling you, after this experience and seeing, you know, walking through the, the stages of what, what, what my Savior went through, hello, somebody, to die for somebody like you and I who was so undeserving. Oh, my God. I said, Lord, have mercy. Y'all just don't know how much we, I have, I'm not even wearing makeup over here. Because every time you look around, around I'm weeping every site I'm going to I'm weeping when I think about the process that our daddy went through for somebody like you and I that we may have life and we may have life more abundantly and I say God when I come on Facebook like I don't care if I look toe up from the flow up you hear what I'm saying? Uh, because it ain't about how cute you can be. I, I want more of God and his glory. And I'm telling you, I received a supernatural manifestation healing in my body. I could barely walk those walks. But let me tell you something. I kept saying, God, I know that you are my healer. And the women of valor can tell you they watch me. From 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 dragging to baby, now I'm walking. They said, what we doing? I said, hey, where y'all going? All right, let's go. And there's some times I walked up the hills to get to the wall to pray. And the first night, I was out of breath. But I kept pressing my way. Why? Because when I put up that post and I said, who is it that won't prayer? 
and people start inboxing and sending their prayer requests. I owe God to press my way to get to that wall and to pray. Why? Because it was lives that depended on me to get to that wall. Yeah, we have a relationship with God. But the Bible say when we're touching, we're two or three are touching and agreeing in his name, then he'll be in the midst. So all I was was that second person you needed to touch and agree for the father to move. Hello, somebody. We got to, I'm telling you I am y'all think I was fired up before I left the states I am even more determined let me tell you something nothing matters to me right now but somebody getting what they need from God let me tell you something it's like I took a death walk do you hear what I'm saying I took a death walk. These women, we took a death walk. And what was the death walk? Our flesh had to die, baby, so that the spirit of God could raise up in us and live. Why? Because it's somebody else's life that's dependent on us to walk in our God-given purpose. And when you walk in your purpose, you walk in your purpose with authority. Hello, somebody, because God has not given us the spirit of fear, baby, but of peace, love, and a sound mind. And so the enemy wants to come in and set up cancer and, and, and tell you, okay, let me put this sickness on your body. Let me tell you something. Th- they can testify. That thing was trying to grow. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I got an assignment because God, let me tell you something. When God can trust you to get yourself out of the way and do what it is that he called you to do and forget about me, myself, and I and say, God, whatever I do, I'm doing it for your glory. It ain't about me. Okay, God, my flesh going to go somewhere and sit down because somebody's life need to be revived. And it needs to be revived because I need to be in position. Hello, somebody. And so we got to get ourselves in a position that... That when the father starts speaking, I don't care. Let me tell you something. My body wasn't 100%. They can tell you, but let me tell you something. Because... <laughs> because it was an assignment from the father it was a renewed covenant hello somebody because let me tell you something don't make a vow to the father that you can't keep hello somebody don't make a vow because let me tell you something when trouble come and things begin to arise in your life you will go somewhere and take a back seat and sit down and that's what the enemy wants you to do is shut your mouth that's what the enemy wants you the baby let me tell you something the bible say that we can speak those things to be not if they were and so what you do you get your mouth and you start declaring what the word of god let me tell you something baby put the word on it put the word on it put the word on when you put baby the word works honey and let me tell you something Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Hello, somebody. Let me tell you something. This is the time that we need to be about our father's business. This is the time that we need to be. Let me tell you something. If you want the glory, you better go after the glory. If you want the glory of the father, you better go seek after him. Wherever he is, you better find him. Hello, somebody. Let me tell you something. Ain't no time. Ain't no time for playing with your purpose. It's no time for playing what the father has assigned to your life there's no time to play with purpose hello somebody y'all better hear me up in here oh jesus because see what the enemy wants is for you to step back draw back and get out of uh, alignment with the father he wants you to get out of your position but baby i I tell you on today it's time to rise up for the occasion because with the work that the father has started in your life hello somebody he very well I tell you will see it to completion you better tell that enemy to go somewhere and sit down matter of fact <laughs> put out your 
your weapon, your weapon of praise. Hello, somebody. Your weapon is prayer. Hello, somebody. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. You don't hear what I'm saying up in here because let me tell you something. You may be afflicted, but let me tell you something. The great I am, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, who is the healer. Hello, somebody. Y'all better hear me up in here. Don't run from the glory of God. Run to the glory of God. Get in his presence to seek him like never before. Let me tell you something. That enemy will back up. He will back up. He will back up. He will back up. Why? Because he's illegal in the territory. Hello, somebody. He's illegal in the territory. Let me tell you something. God has given us dominion, power, and authority. But what happens is that slew-footed devil comes in and try to come in and set up roadblocks that he don't even have the power to take you out of here. Because for every roadblock, when you look at construction, God has a way of building things. Oh, He has a way of building things to move it out the way. Hello, somebody. Everything that's broken in the name of Jesus, it will be our robo Kasa. Everything that is broken in the name of Jesus will be healed. Hello, he the potter, we the clay. He's making us and molding us into what he would have us to be. You lay aside every weight that's so easily beset. Oh, Gird up your lawns, baby. Get your prayer light together. Get your consecrated light together. Get in the presence of the Father. It says, seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. If you don't seek the kingdom, if you don't seek him first, if you don't seek his righteousness, baby, ain't nothing gonna be added unto you. Hello, somebody. Oh my God. Oh, you look at things and you think because you see a lot of stuff where people got a lot of things. Baby, sometimes the enemy can camouflage and give you a temporary, but you want an eternal oh, robo shaka. You want something that is eternal. You want something that is eternal. And eternal things come from the Father. Oh, my shikanda boko saya. Oh, rebe shekero satarabakasa. Every evil plot that is against your life and against your family. In the name of Jesus, we bind it up in the name of Jesus. That it go back to the abyss of hell from which it come from. It has no power. It has no authority to overtake your life. You better believe God for what he has spoken in your life concerning your family. If you got cancer, you better speak to it and say, dry up in the name of Jesus. Hey, Robo Shata, and If you want your family say, baby, you better open your mouth. You better open your heart up to the Father and say, here I am. I open myself up to you. Here I am. I yield myself over to you. Do what you want to do with my life because everything else when I'm in alignment... Oh, Robo Shata, Robo Shikanda will line up. It will line up. And let me tell you something. You better be real about your walk with God. Because let me tell you something hit me today and I heard something as we were getting our teachings today. And he said, when we was down there, he said, when Jesus came the first time, he came humble. He said, but when Jesus come back this time, baby, he coming back with judgment. So hello, somebody. See, when he came, he had to, he came meek. He came meek. He came on, but that thing hit my spirit. You don't hear what I'm saying. That thing hit my spirit. You don't hear what I'm saying. When he came, he came meek and he came humble. But when he come back the second time around, he's coming back with his judgment. So if your life is not lined up, 
Hello, you're going to have to answer to the judgment of the Father. We don't have time to play. We don't have time to play. It's time to truly be about our Father's business. We ain't got time to play. It's time to be about our Father's business. What is it? That the father has been dealing with you on and you keep ignoring him. What is it? That the father is speaking, you keep brushing him off. Mm -hmm. What is it? Now, in Matthew, in the Beatitudes, I think it's about five, what is chapter five, verse 11, where it talks about being persecuted for his name's sake. Listen, you're going to be persecuted. Don't worry about that. But are you going to obey what the Father has told you to do? That, see, the problem ain't with what's going on with the persecution. The problem is with your obedience. Because, see, Jesus was persecuted. Oh, that thing hit my spirit. He was persecuted. But he was obedient to the Father even unto death. So let me ask you a question. Or are you going to be obedient to the Father even until the point of death in your life? We, we ain't got time to play. It's, it's somebody's life depending on your alignment. They watching your life. So what do you stand for? See, that's what I had to ask myself. God, do I really stand for you? Mm. The things that I'm doing, is it really bringing you glory? I'm just saying. Is anybody's life being transformed because they see you in my alignment with you, in my obedience to you? Hello, somebody. We better start checking our own self. We better start checking our own self. So what is it? You mean to tell me you got time to waste? I don't think so. Because it says no man know the day or the hour when, the, when Jesus is coming back. So if he come back now, what are you doing to bring glory to him? I had to ask myself, what am I doing to bring glory to him? It's one thing to have a hype session, but it's another thing when somebody's life is being changed. There's a, there's a difference. I can hype you all day long, but what's being imported in your spirit, man, if it's dead, is what's on the inside of me giving you life when I open my mouth in the name of Jesus. Because it's not me, it is the Father that is working through me. And that's what it is with you. It is the Father that is working through you of your act of obedience. The words say obedience is better than sacrifice. It's better than sacrifice. What what we gonna run down to the Father? Hello. When 
we going get, to get, get, get our fleshly self out the way? And ask God to revive us in our spirit, man. You remember how Lazarus was dead and God raised him up from a dead place? Are you dead in your spirit and you need to be raised up? Hello? Come forth. Hello? Or better yet, are you speaking life to somebody else that's in a dead place to come forth? What are you calling out of their spirit? Or are you leaving them in a tomb to die? Hello? Are you leaving them? In the tomb to die. On your watch. Watchman. How much are you willing to be obedient. To the call that's upon your life. Many are called, but only a few are chosen. So are you one of the chosen ones? Because chosen people are obedient people. Hello? Chosen people are obedient people. They just not talking fluff. Mm. Mm. They actually have an act of obedience. Hello? I'm just saying. Go back and ask yourself. Hmm. Father, are you pleased with me? Father, am I chosen by you? Not by man, by you. See, because when you're chosen by the Father, even when it get hard, mm. you ain't going to quit. That's good, Dr. O. But if a man chose you, mm. when you get frustrated and when you get persecuted, you going to stop. Why? Because they got you on a yo-yo string. And the Father ain't pleased with your services. See, these are things that I had to say. All right, Daddy. Am, am I doing it because you, you told me to do it? Because I know sometime it's going to get hard. But if you told me to do it, you'll sustain me in the time of suffering. You understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? It's time out. It's time to come into full obedience. Not this part time. He ain't your part time daddy. He your full time father. Even in your mess, even when I was in my mess, he was still with me. I'm just saying. 
I told you, when I went down in the water and I came back up, even the residue that was on my life stayed there. I got work to do for my father. I got work to do, and so do you. So listen, that's my encouragement for tonight. I don't know what time it is over there. I think it's probably almost uh, midnight here. We'll be back at the wall again tomorrow. Listen, I'm not just saying I'm praying. I'm, I'm writing those requests down. I'm writing them down. And I'm putting them in that wall and praying. I'm not just saying. Because I want the Father to bless your life. I want the Father to bless your life. Every time I see God bless somebody else, I know my life is blessed. Every time I hear a praise report from standing in agreement with somebody that the Father has done, I can rejoice because I know that the Father have heard us. So listen, let's get it together. I'm telling you, my life ain't the same, y'all. I'm telling you, my life is not the same. I know I don't care about no makeup. I don't care about none of that. I'm just, it is me and the Father over here. And I thank God that he put me with some amazing women on this journey. Some of them I didn't even know at all. Never seen them, didn't know them. But the love of God that we have had and shared. And let me tell y'all something. It's 3 p.m. cuz. I don't have my glasses on. This baby uh, named Jessica, I call her my new baby. She said, I've been following your ministry on Facebook. And she said, I was honored to be in the room with you. She's my roommate. She, she about the age of my, my oldest son. God gave me a baby. Now, had I been anything other than what I'm ministering on Facebook, don't you see what that would have did to that baby life? She says she was honored to be my roommate down here. Do you hear me? What am I saying to you? Do your purpose. Do what the Father... Never, never seen this baby, you know, just like seen, seen, seen her in my circle of people, you know, influence or whatever, like that, you know. And she said, I was excited, I was honored. Now, what if I'd have been all ratchet in the room? What you think that would have did to that baby? And I'm all along with my Facebook ministry. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 you know, fit for the kingdom, inspiration, all of that. God is good. See, you got to live the life of obedience, not just on a camera. You got to live that on the camera, in private, away from wherever, you know. All of that, you got to live that kind of life all the time. I'd have messed her up if I'd have been ratchet, y'all. Y'all know I'd just tell it like it is. I'd have messed her up. Because let me tell you something, you can't fake it to make it. You can fake it in public, but after a while, you, you know, you know, when you do you, yeah, you can do that because we can be whatever we want to be on Facebook. <clears throat> I, 
every last one of us. But who are you when you off the camera? Hello? You understand what I'm saying? So, I done been on my soapbox for the night, y'all. I got we got one more day prayer request. If y'all have any prayer requests, cause I'm telling y'all it's a journey up that that walk up that uh, yeah. I see what Jesus went through. Uh, on a serious note, y'all, it ain't no joke that he. I'm telling you that walk. I'm telling you, I done had supernatural weight loss. <laughs> Oh, Jesus, I, I done came down, y'all. I done had supernatural weight loss. I'm, I'm for real. I'm serious. It, 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 I see what Jesus went through. Lord, have mercy. I, I, I'm just doing a couple of days. of uh, the, He did a the whole lot and then died for us, and we, we can't show him no appreciation. Hello, I'm trying to tell you. Just the journey of uh, the walking. In a cell, I'd have been like, Lord have mercy, Father, you sure you want me to do this here? Because it's hot out here, and I got to keep walking from, you know, sitting, sitting town to town. The hill is sitting right there, then I got to get ready to go to death. I don't know. Jesus is good. I'm telling y'all, y'all better love on the Father, for real. I'm serious. I'm so serious. Y'all better love on the Father. I need to get some sleep. Yeah, Jessica, supernatural weight loss, baby, supernatural <laughs> weight loss. Listen, it's it's amazing, y'all. I'm telling you, this this life changing experience with the father. Let me just stroll down and say hello, uh, some people because when I'm ministering, I ain't gonna cut off what the father's doing, you know. So, um, and until he get through, you know what I'm saying? I because I I don't want anything to be a distraction. But I thank God. Hey, Claudia, Elder, how you doing? Victoria, how you doing? Hello, hello. How y'all doing over there? I, 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 I miss y'all in the States. My big brother, Pastor James Rawls. Hey, daughter Shantae. Blessings, Regina. Hey, Angie, how you doing? How you doing? You doing all right? Wonderful. Victoria, I got you. I got you. I got you. Hey, Miss Linda, how you doing? Blessings, blessings, blessings. You was there in 2005. Yes, yeah, good. I'm telling you, it, oh, this experience, see, I, I, this is going to be a lifetime. Hey, Job Richardson, how are you? Hello, hello, uh, Sis Anquanetta, how are you? I'm saying my hellos. Yogi, Yogi, Yogi. Hey, sis. Um, Dr. Earl, you know I miss you, cuz. I put up my post today. You know that song, You Are My Everything. I, I just need you to, you know, when I get back, just hit a note for me. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. Just hit that note. I'll be all right. I'm telling you, I'm, I can't sing like you sing, but I'm, I was asking God to anoint my voice. Maybe we can do, a, do another duet or something. I don't know. We can do a duet off your song. Uh, <laughs> oh, anoint me, Jesus, to sing. Hey, Jazz. Hey, baby. How you doing? That's my new baby, Jessica. She, see, she all on Facebook following me again. See, I ain't mess her up down here, y'all. She ain't mess God. Go on, type on there. I ain't mess you up. So they know I ain't just on my soapbox. Think I'm around here playing. Brunel, what's going on? How you doing? How you doing? That's my, that's my new baby, y'all. God gave me a, uh, that baby there, special to me. Michelle, how you doing? Regina, what's going on? You know I'm praying, honey. I ain't, you know I'm praying. Let me tell you something. I'm gonna get me some rest when I get back to get back to uh to the state, cause I ain't got no real rest over here. I'm telling you, we we been on missions over here. Hey, Miss Carolyn, how are you? John Moore, how you doing? I'm just speaking to people. Hey, Pastor Verna, how you doing? Who is this? I don't want to miss nobody. Doctor Wiley, how you do? How you tip in on on the broadcast? 
<laughs> Dr. Allison Wiley. That's our lead over here. I love her. I call her Big Sis. Victoria, yeah, I can't stop. I guess I was preaching how Victoria. I, hey, cuz, old Freddie. What's going on? Sandra, Miss Sandra, how you doing? Angela, how you doing? I'm over here in Israel. It is beautiful. Hey, Christopher. All right. La Lori. <laughs> That's one of my my new sisters. Oh, my God. We ain't got no time. Hey, Isaac, how you doing? I'm just all... Hey, Prophetess Tori. She like a mama to me. Hey, Pop Sean, y'all doing all right over there? Yes, I love y'all. I love y'all. Yes, indeed. Yes. Stuart Thomas, what's going on? How you doing? Let's see who else. Hey, sis Cherie. I'm trying to send my shout outs. Christian Veronica Everett. Them my peace, baby. Them are my peoples. Them Christians uh, uh, and Veronica Alvarado. Them are my peoples. I love them. Oh, I got my peoples. Y'all really. I, ooh, I love y'all. Share what's going on. How you doing? Oh, my sister Von Shea, what's going on, baby? Hi, Dr. Brown, Patricia, how you doing? Blessings, blessings, blessings. Uh, uh, Mitchell Woodson, how are you? How are you? I'm trying to say hello because I'm over here in uh, in in Israel's. Uh, DeAndre, what's going on, honey? Hi, George, how are you? Blessings, blessings, blessings. I'm trying to see everybody. Hey, Felicia, Nash, how are you, my love? I just love y'all. Y'all just hung out with Dr. Yo tonight. I'm telling you, that thing hit my spirit. Hey, Mama Deborah, how you doing? That thing hit my... Hey, Denise Crossin, how are you? Oh, Apostle Tony Lucky, say hello to my, my big sis, my other big sis over there. Prophetess Valencia Lucky for me. Let's see who else we going down here. Hey, Pastor Fuchs, how you doing? Hey, Apostle Wanda, how you doing? I just that thing hit my spirit. I think I had to just took off on the flight. I didn't calm down now, but I I think I took a flight. But listen, you guys, I'm telling you, if you have any prayer requests, uh, uh, cause you, uh, Doctor Earl. I'm serious, girl, about that song. When I get back to the States, I, I need to hear my song one more again. Listen, if y'all have any prayer requests for your ministry, you know, for your family, healing, whatever, you can inbox me. You don't, you know, if you don't want to put it actually on the, you know, screen, you can inbox me because I'm writing them down. You know, I done already put you and Lady V in that wall over there. I done wrote it up. For God to bless y'all ministry and take it higher and I done weld at that wall. For y'all over there at that wall. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, yes, yes. I'm telling you, that, that wall something else. I'm telling you, that wall, you just be weeping. Oh, my God. I, I'm telling you, the presence of God is just so strong, you just be weeping. I mean, if you've never been in this experience, your life, I'm telling you, will never, ne I mean, never, ever Cause I know mine ain't the same. I, I'm telling you, my life. Oh, y'all sending them hearts. Y'all love old Doctor Yo. Oh, you know I love y'all too. Y'all know Doctor Yo love you. But I'm on some whole nother stuff, y'all. I'm telling you, I'm on some. Me and Jesus got it going on. I'm on some whole nother stuff. Hey, Apostle Harper, how are you? How are you? Blessings, blessings. I'm saying hello from Israel. I done been on my soapbox. Something hit my spirit. And so I had to go ahead on and release it, so I released it. So I'm just saying hello to everybody, sending my love. Uh, I, I love you guys to life. Y'all already know that. Listen, if y'all got, I'm praying for y'all, y'all ministries. I'm wailing at that wall. I'm telling y'all, let, let me tell y'all something, tell y'all a joke. Your girl doing this walk, I'm telling you, I, I feel what Jesus went through. I'm telling you, I feel it all the way. He, 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 the way he had to walk and do all that, I just did just a little bit of the walking. Let me tell y'all something. <laughs> yeah, my life was never the same. I have to laugh because I'm telling y'all, I had to keep pressing. I'm telling y'all, Jesus was in better shape than me. 
So, you know, but I'm making it, y'all. I have been down to the dead. What's that, the dead sea? I have been in the dead sea. I, I, you know, walked in the dead sea, you know, all of that. It was hot down there, too. But I made, let me tell y'all something. I made it all the way down there. And I made it all the way back up. They were so proud of me. They was like, Doc, yo, you hanging on there. I said, yes, I'm pressing. Hey, Derek, how you doing? Let me tell you something. Your life will never be the same. I'm telling you. You take this trip over here, your life will never be the same, especially when you really get a revelation. And, and we had a good uh, uh, to, uh, tourist uh, person. Oh, my God. He was so full of wisdom. Oh, it, it was just so. And I, I got videos all over. Listen to some of the, the, the videos and the histories and things that I put up on my page with along with the pictures. Listen, it's a whole bunch of Israel stuff on there. Please go on there. Some history. I posted, you know, different things. So today we actually went you guys and that just blessed my heart we went where jesus you know where they laid the manger i mean the actual place where jesus was laid i'm like lord have mercy i mean the actual place where jesus was laid all right where he was born in okay i i mean that that was just y'all that messed me up you know, that messed me up. And then we went to, you know, the crucifix, well, you know, the garden, of Gethsemane, and we went, I mean, we was just everywhere. I mean, now I'm telling you, it's this this a journey. I see what Jesus, we doing a journey, and how many days that Jesus, boy, if that was his journey all the time, Lord have mercy, he really, the Father really loved us, y'all. I'm telling you, Jesus really loves us. I mean, seriously, he, he does, because I don't know, that heat something else, and Jesus had to do all that walking the hill from city to city. I'm like, Lord, we got air conditioning over there, you know. You know, little breeze blowing. No, nah, I'm just kidding, y'all. But it, it's a it's an amazing um, journey. It, it was spiritual enrichment for me, um, and, I, and I thank God for it. Uh, blessings. How you doing, Christina, Kim, Jordan? I love you guys. Like I say, I am praying, and y'all keep praying for me. I'm going to make it back to the States, all right? So y'all keep praying for me as I pray for y'all. We have one more day uh, that we're going to pray um, at the wall on tomorrow. So if you have not submitted your prayer request, those who have already submitted them, I wrote them out and took them and put them in the wall and prayed over them. And I'm still uh, praying over them. Hey, Kim, how you doing? So if you have any prayer requests, just, you know, submit them. I, I'm still praying until I leave and and, and um, go, back to, go back to the States. Listen, I love you guys. Um, I'm going to get me. I'm going to try to get some rest. Um, I can't. I can't. I kind of catnap a little bit, you know, and I get on up. So um, just keep praying. Pray my strength. Uh, the journey is good. It's almost over, and I thank God for um, this life-changing experience. And um, even when I leave from here, from Israel, I must still continue to pray uh, for you guys because I am an intercessor. I love prayer, so... Uh, that that's just not because I came to Israel that I'm 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 just gonna pray for you. I'm gonna continue to pray because I believe that uh, some miraculous things that God is going to show Himself. And we gonna have some praise reports. So Amen. some of them have already started coming, and I'm believing God for even the more uh, praise reports. They they've already started coming. So. I'm believing God for even the more uh, praise reports out of this. So I love you guys. Blessings. And uh, <laughs> uh, Pastor, send my love to my, my big sis. I tell her I love her. And uh, I'm signing off, you guys. We got a busy day tomorrow. And then we'll be, hey, hey, sis, Lady Nicole. How are you? I done put you in pastor's uh, uh, prayer request over there. At that wall is in that wall over there, that well and wall. Tell Pastor McBride I done put it over there in that wall for y'all ministry. Yes, Lord, and y'all business. Oh, yes, I believe God for some miracles. Oh, I love you as well.
All right? Yeah, I, they over there at the wall. If you send them, they at the wall. All right? They are at the wall. So I'll be back in, in the States on Friday. So it's going to be a long uh, flight. Y'all just, you know, pray. Uh, got another day. We'll be at the wall, and then we'll be leaving out. So, uh, yes, I, I, yes. So it's been amazing. Go on my page, y'all. It's a whole bunch of history and videos and all of that. Uh, thank you, ladies. We are praying for you, twelve disciples. Yeah, and we 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 being discipled over here. Uh, so you know, I'm I'm I don't I don't know how I'm, when I get off the plane whether I'm a jump run or whatever, cause I'm just overjoyed at this experience that the Father allowed me to have. Uh, this this special encounter uh with the father all right so i love you guys i'm signing out i'm really signing off for real but uh like i say if you still whatever your prayer request is i'm i'm still i got one more day to go to the wall which is it tomorrow and uh, I'll, I'm still taking prayer requests. And those who've already, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get any rest, sis, until I get back to the States. This was a, a spiritual journey for me. So uh, it wasn't a vacation or a rest. It was, it was what I wanted the Father to do in my life on my spiritual journey. So, yeah, I am full. I, I really am full. We went to the wall, and we weeped. Every time I go to that wall, I weep. Yeah, I, I'm full, for real, <laughs> you know. So once uh once I get back to the States, I'll get some rest. But I won't get any rest, rest, good rest, rest, because that's not what this is about for me. So I love you guys to life. Keep me in your prayers. I'll be back on Friday. And y'all know when I get ready to hit the airport, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm hitting the airport. And when I come off the airport, in Jesus' name, y'all already know I'm going to say hello. All right? So I love you guys to life. Bye-bye. Signing off. Send your prayer requests all the way from Israel, your girl, Dr. Yo. I love you, family. Shalom.